It's that time once again, the final moment before lights out and the charge down to turn one. Who will come out on top at Paul Ricard today? We'll find out soon as the French Grand Prix gets underway. The circuit Paul Ricard then, a 3.6 mile track, 25 miles east of Marseille. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right, with the main overtaking chance expected going into turn eight. Top speeds today should be around 205 miles per hour. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Daniel Ricciardo and Sonoda. Norris, Fernando Alonso, Sainz and Charles Leclerc. Gasly, Vettel, Lance Stroll and Ocon. Giovinazzi, Russell, Kimi Raikkonen and Nikita Mazepin. Mick Schumacher and Nicholas Latifi. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track.
Okay, DRS is now available. OK, pick up rubber and bring it home. Another superb French Grand Prix comes to an end, and it's a thoroughly deserved victory. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.